again, my name is Gabe Zola. This is the 16th of January, 2019. Read an interesting article on Breitbart. I'll attach the link. It's rather lengthy, but I'll give you some of the highlights, and you definitely want to read the entire article. Title: The Smoking Gun. Google manipulated YouTube search results for abortion. Maxine Waters, David Hogg. You see a picture of that. CEO Sundar Picha, they need to send this guy back to India. In sworn testimony, Google CEO Sundar Picha told Congress last month that his company does not manually intervene on any particular search results. Absolute bullshit. Yet an internal discussion thread leaked to Burbart News reveals Google regularly intervenes in search results on its YouTube video platform including a recent intervention that pushed pro-life videos out of the top 10 search results for abortion. Now, when you lie to Congress, isn't that a crime? Shouldn't this CEO, Sundar Pinchar, be sent to a federal prison for lying to Congress? I guess if you have a whole lot of money, it doesn't matter much, does it? The term abortion was added to a blacklist file for controversial YouTube queries, which contains a list of search terms that the company considers sensitive. According to the leak, these include some of these search terms related to abortion, abortions, the Irish abortion referendum, Democratic Congresswoman Maxine Waters, and anti-gun activist David Hogg. The existence of the blacklist was revealed in an internal Google discussion thread leaked to Burpart News by a source inside the company who wishes to remain anonymous for obvious reasons. A partial list of blacklisted terms was also leaked to Burpart by another Google resource. Hmm. In the leaked discussion thread, a Google site reliability engineer hinted at the existence of more search blacklists According to the source, we have tons of white and black lists that human manually curate, said the employee. Hopefully this isn't surprising or particularly controversial. Others were more concerned about the presence of the blacklist, according to the source. The software engineer who started the discussion called the manipulation of search results related to abortion a smoking gun. That means there's a whole lot more going on. The software engineer noted that the change had occurred following an inquiry from a left-wing late journalist about the prominence of pro-life videos on YouTube and that pro-life videos were replaced with pro-abortion videos in the top 10 results for the search term following Google's manual intervention. And again, there's a lot to read in this article. I just want to point this one little area because I think it's pretty important. Well, the whole thing's important. Responding to a request for comment, a YouTube spokeswoman said the company wants to promote authoritative sources in its search results, but maintained that YouTube is a platform for free speech that allows both pro-life and pro-abortion content. Absolute bullshit. They do not promote or allow free speech. YouTube's full comment. YouTube is a platform for free speech where anyone can choose to post videos, as long as they follow our community guidelines, which always change, which prohibits things like enticing violence and pornography. I never enticed violence, and I never enticed pornography, and my channel was shut down, and I had 18,300 videos, almost four and a half years of work seven days a week, 12 to 14 hours a day, shut down by this left-wing rag. We apply these policies impartially, bullshit, and we allow both pro-life and pro-choice opinions, bullshit. Over the last year, we've described how we are working to better surface news sources across our site for news-related searches and topical information. We've improved our search and discovery algorithms, built new features that clearly enable and prominently surface news sources on our home page and search pages, and introduced information panels to
to help give users more authoritative sources where they can fact check information for themselves. Absolute bullshit. Yeah, you've put together additional panels to listen to these trolls that attack conservatives like myself. In the case of the abortion search results, YouTube's intervention to insert authoritative content resulted in downraking of pro-life videos and the elevation of pro-abortion ones. A Google spokesperson, a spokesperson took a tougher line than its YouTube sub, subsidiary, stating that Google has never manipulated or modified the search results or content in any of its products to promote a particular political ideology. You gotta be shitting me, huh? Google and Facebook and a whole lot of other CEOs, including Apple, flew to an island to try to figure out how to block Trump. They're all bullshit leftist freaks. That's what they all are. Read the rest of the article. Pass it along to your like-minded friends. It's absolute bullshit. And I don't understand how Congress allows this crap to continue, other than they're paid off by lobbyists. They're paid off by lobbyists to allow this kind of criminality to continue. You don't want to hear it? Don't listen.